A year ago this month, the Victoria Foundation celebrated its 80th birthday by offering free admission to dozens of attractions across Greater Victoria. Known as the Victoria Foundation Community Day, it was so successful, it's happening again this year. This is the University of Victoria's Peninsula Co-op Climbing Center. That's as far as I can go. Housed within CARSA, UVic's Center for Athletics, Recreation and Special Abilities, it's a popular spot. It's probably one of the fastest growing sports in Canada right now. So over the last few years, we've seen a huge increase on how many students are coming to use this facility. Oh, there we go. And the public is welcome too. Camps, uh, to birthdays, just general families, then organizations like the Victoria Foundation. Which, for the second year in a row, is hosting Community Day. Thanking the public for their support by opening the doors of 38 nonprofits across Greater Victoria. There's probably a place that you've always wanted to go and explore. Here's your opportunity to go out and do that for free. The list includes the climbing center. We saw a huge success from it last year. We put a lot of people through in a short amount of time. So they just approached us again this year, saying that they want to do it again and uh, would we be interested in being involved and. Of course, right? Saturday, September 16th is the day. Venues include Abkhazi Garden, Craigflower Manor, and Ross Bay Villa. The Robert Bateman Center will open its doors too. I think that the neat thing is for people to understand the work of nonprofits, you know, the work of running a gallery like this, what it takes, how many volunteers, and just for them to understand what a giving community we have and how they can help us build community as well. For a complete list of attractions you can visit on September 16th, click on the links tab on our website. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.